Yes, indeed. Good morning. Good morning. Good, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Uh, good morning. It's a special day. It's always a special day, especially when Brittany Hendrix is in the building. Hey, what's <laughs> up? <laughs> but of course, it's Junior Leto. Francois the Great. And Missy Talks. Okay, so Missy, take it over, girl. Yes, yeah, so everyone, we have some special guests, just like Junior Leto said. We have Brittany Hendrix, also Jay Rivera. They are with Too Sick to Pray. We are going to be talking about the Wicked Weekend Extreme Music Festival with them. Um, so I, I want to hear more about this. Can you tell us a little bit? Yes, it is June 28th, 29th, and 30th, and it overlaps with X Games Weekend. So if you're looking for the cool underground metal scene and what's <laughs> happening during X Games, you have to come over to San Suchi, which is also known as the sewer. The sewer. The sewer. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, and let me introduce you to Jay, who is the mastermind behind Wicked Weekend. Hi guys, good morning. Good morning, Jay. How you doing, man? Oh, Thank you I'm for coming. Good. Thank you. So how long have you been a musician? Oh, God, all the way back to junior high school, when you can tell by the grades. <laughs> so, I the like new, this easy top look. This easy yeah. top, yeah. <laughs> Who were your influences growing up? Uh, I started out uh, seventh grade-ish, yeah, you know, Black Sabbath and the regular stuff, and it quickly turned to Slayer, Venom, Exodus, couldn't get heavy enough for me, you know, just... Uh, okay. The, the, as extreme as it got was the, was the better for me, and somehow... This has lasted this long. It's lasted this long. Yeah. Okay. And, and Brittany, uh, a lot of people, it was a surprise to me that you were a musician and you played the drums. Where did that come from? Yeah. So I was a dancer. You guys know that I used to dance yes. for the Lakers. <laughs> and when I retired from dance, I, you know, I'm very rhythmically inclined. I was actually in Japan and I was on vacation there and I was at the robot restaurant in Shinjuku and there were these chicks drumming on these massive drums and I was like, damn, I want to do that. That's so cool. Okay. And so this is like seven or eight years ago and so I started taking drum lessons um, a little late in life, but I'm so into it and um, I started playing in a cover band, Metal Illness, and we played at Wicked Wednesday, which is Jay's event and that's where Jay and I met. And Okay. Um, funny enough, at my first show that I played, our bass player, Thomas, from Cyanide was there, too. And so the three of us kind of hooked up in November, and we've been playing music together ever since. Wow. No, that's super cool. Actually, I want to hear a little bit more about Wicked Wednesdays, right? Because I heard you have been, Jay has been curating, you know, all the bands that are coming to this area of Ventura County, um, downtown Ventura. And from what I heard, it was uh, every other week, and you've been so successful at it, right, that it's gone to every week, right? Oh, yeah. Um, actually, it started at the 6, and I was uh, – uh, uh, Tim Amoroso from the Ventura County Music Awards approached me and said, hey, um, can you do a metal show for me? I'm like, well, sure. Shout out to Tim. Yeah. That's, hey, my, Tim. that's my guy, Tim. Oh, Love Tim. That's my guy. You know, he, he has a Nardcore tattoo, he, right? Really? He does. Uh, he yeah. VC Music Awards. Yes. Yeah. That's Tim. That's my guy. And yeah. after our band had won a few awards, well, a couple of few, and uh, we got to know each other, and he figured who else to book a metal night, and I ended up doing one, and I said, hey, I like doing this. So we presented the show under our band name, Bone Maggot. And that's what got it up off the ground. And then I did one, I did two, I did three, and it just got better and better. Okay. So that's kind of how it started. And uh, a year after that, for undisclosed reasons, I ended up getting into San Suchi, the sewer. Okay. And I've been there about a year now. And we met our partner, Radford, Jason Radford. And uh, shout out. We got. <laughs> <laughs> we miss him today. I know he was supposed yeah. to be come with you guys yeah so we and he told me you know he's he owns a recording studio he's been in a world touring band and he's got bands under him and he said he'll help do the other wednesdays and here we are okay so, yeah. all right essentially i have of course the names bone maggot mm -hmm. like where do you guys come up with these names uh black sabbath and are you just trying to pick the craziest name that you can possibly come up with i think not to be offensive no just, no to, to, the, the more random it is, the better it is. Okay. And I do believe my lead singer, lead guitar player, he was playing a video game. I'm not sure which video game it was, but it's one of the popular ones. And he says, get over here, bone maggot. And 
That's what it was. Mortal, oh, Mortal Kombat. Kombat. Mortal Kombat. <laughs> no, not, uh, no, no. No, I think it was one of the fighting games. Or oh. I, I could be wrong. That's no. Mortal Kombat. They oh, fight Mortal Kombat. big okay. time. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I'm not much of a gamer. But yeah. that's, where, that's where he got the name from. Okay, sure. that's interesting. Okay, all so, right. So, you know, down the road a little bit, 10 years later, everyone's doing their own thing. Actually, Bone Maggot's still out there and playing. And uh, I formed my own band. And I she had gone to my Instagram and liked a picture of my kid and I was sitting there contemplating what I wanted to do next for the next project. Sure. And, <coughs> excuse me. And uh, so I hit her up on a text and then I hit up Thomas on a text and so here we are. We're actually be running late to our rehearsal today. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what time is rehearsal? It's at noon and actually we have our second wow. audition with our potential vocalist today which really? is rad um really cool aggressive deep growly vocals nice. this guy is like he looks like a bear when he walks into a room and you're just like oh man he's Brit, scary can, can you sing Brit? <laughs> absolutely not <laughs> <laughs> don't ask not at all okay no. i do have another question about bands when you What's the chemistry like from going from one band to another band? Is it kind of jealousy if one band picks up more so? Or what's that relationship like? Because in R&B groups, it can create a divide. And it seems like in rock and roll, heavy metal, it's, it's all for one. It's just a big circle. And I can go back the 10 years I've just been in Ventura. And all, all the bands all over, there's a member from each group. And it's always ever-changing. We did a very long stretch and did pretty well for ourselves but okay uh, but it, it's no big i they still play at our events actually so it's good it's that, good. that sounds like a fun community to be a part it, of it sounds sure. like a great great community you know it actually is my favorite saying lately is that metal people are nice people dressed up as mean people <laughs> and hippies are mean people dressed up as nice people <laughs> this oh is, my god this is true this is true i agree i definitely so agree so being that both of you are artists i'm very curious to know what Give me a performance story at your favorite venue that was memorable to the both of you. I actually just played at St. Andrew's Hall in Detroit the other night, and I played Enter Sandman, of course. It's, like, one of my go-tos. Yeah. Um, and it was, like, this crazy experience where the entire crowd was singing along, and it's, like, almost like the spiritual thing, and you're just like, yeah, like, I did that. <laughs> I did that. That is that's awesome. right. That's, that's pretty cool. And what about you, Jeff? Are you talking about a personal band or a performance I've seen throughout? Personal. Yeah, personal. And it's something that's just memorable that you just won't forget. Um, I've got a, one or two, and they're in the same place. Um, our band, Bone Maggot, performed at the Ventura Theater with uh, Allison Montez, who is, she's well-known, I'll say that. And uh, she plays a violin, but she plays it metal style with wow. a pedal board, and it's all mean. <laughs> and it was just a surreal kind of moment. And to be able to play the theater alone, that's that's the big stage, you know. And uh, I played many times there, but you know that was that's a great, that's great. Yeah, it was a good time. Because vi violin is not like a normal instrument used in metal, right? Violin, no, no, Absolutely no. Not. So that that'd be really cool to see. I, I'm yeah. gonna look her up. You yeah. said Alice? Allison Montez. Allison Montez. Allison Montez. I'm sure there were a lot of broken strings on that thing. Um, she is in a touring band, Metalachi. And they will be at the X Games actually performing on their stage. So. I have an, another question for you both. Why do you think a uh, heavy metal isn't like a Billboard chart tarp, uh, chart tar gotcha. charting genre when there's so many different genres? Because the heavy metal world, it is big. They still support the music. Why do you think it's not Billboard? Um, I think it's lyric content, and I think it's like sweeping things under the rug. Society wants to pretend it's not there. Okay. <laughs> but it is. Okay. And, I mean, when you get the bigger bands, they they literally person for person outsell any venues. Slayer, for instance, one of my favorite bands, it's very seldom that they play out here. There's nowhere big enough to contain their show out here. Wow. I mean, yeah. they, they go to Germany, and they go to Sweden, where they have the room. And, I mean, it's crazy how many – people are into it and it's a uh, also like depending on the band if you say you have a, a top 10 billboard sure cd or whatever out for sale and slayer or venom or, or you know, one of the big bands releases something if you really go to the store and look salzers and look it sells out fast so, yeah, it, yeah. It, it, it it's just swept under the rug we all know it we're all okay with it we have our moments you know what i okay. mean okay it's just 
it is what it is. The lyric content alone, I think, is a lot of it. Okay. Know? And what about you, Brittany? I think it's just people maybe think it's a little bit scary when they first mm -hmm. hear it because it's mm -hmm. a more aggressive form of music. But, sure. you know, the community is pretty fantastic around metal. And okay. when you meet the people, it's like some of the nicest people you'll ever meet. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, we love you, Britt. <laughs> thanks. I love you, too. <laughs> if I could comment on what she said, you could go yeah. to these events that are all you see is spikes and leather and long hair, and you think, oh, it's scary. You get out into the pit, and we all know what a pit is. Okay. It's, it's, it's crazy out there. Yeah, and they, they're like washing machines. It looks that way from afar, <laughs> but when you're right up in it, everyone's got you. It's very rare that. that there's a problem at any of these shows, yeah. and someone will very always pick rare. you up. Very rare. Mm. So. It's not that scary. That's right. That's right. A little something I'd like to do, if you guys don't mind, is Go ahead. give a shout out to the bands that are going to be performing during we Wicked love, Weekend. Yeah, absolutely. I do want to hear more about it. So Friday, June 28th, we have... We have, and this is the Metal Night, guys. Okay. We got Dogleg, who's going to open, Final Fall, Trimortis, Black Empathy, Viscerate, Carnal Deity, Bone Maggot. Bone Maggot. <laughs> Let's go. Shout out Bone Let's Maggot. Go Bone Maggot. All right. VPR and In the Gray. Okay. That's awesome. And then on Saturday, we have Hologram Empire, the Ron side of town. Those are our girls. We love them. Electric Liberace, Melee Fairy. Also, shout out to them. Moxie and Foxy are the leaders of that yeah. band. They're, <laughs> they're rad. Uh, Blood Boys, 900 Pound Gorilla, Die Healing, Shark Head, Loke Dogs, <laughs> and Defeating the Purpose. The names are crazy. I love them, though. And then Sunday, we got. We have. Black Dragon, they're new to our circle, but they are good, and they're they're going to be up and coming. We're okay. going to see to that. Sunny Days, who is a, an acoustic single, and she's just a girl without a guitar, but she's amazing. Um, Tara, I'm not aware of who they are. Radford booked them, but I trust anything he says. Los Proximus, <laughs> Velvet West. You're going to have to pronounce this one. Down. Okay, we got Chekhov's Gun. Oh, actually, we'll come back to that. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And uh, a way out and mall. Malls of and malls. Mall, mall of monsters, yes. <laughs> yeah. That yes. sounds like it's gonna be an eventful, exciting weekend. Yeah. That is so cool. Did you guys mean did you guys do it on purpose for the same weekend as the X Games? Absolutely. I yeah. I, I, looked, <laughs> I looked a year in advance when I was wow. work, when I was working at the six, the monster stage after the X Games was where I was having my night and it was my last show at the six and my bands got to play with the whole monster backdrop and okay. all the, their seasoning that they put up. And this time I looked in advance and I'm like, it's pretty darn busy right here. It's walking mm -hmm. distance. And I asked for it and I was new at the sewer, San Suchi, and uh, I asked for the dates and she goes, we'll see about that. And then things happen and I started booking more and more and more there and we're all very happy with the situation. And they handed me all three days. And I'm like, let's do something no one's done. Crazy. Absolutely, because, yeah. I mean, there's so many people that come into the area, right, into oh, Ventura yeah. County for this. Skaters, other metalheads, oh, you yeah. know, all kinds of people that are interested in that. They, so easy, go to the X Games and then go to your music festival, right? Because it starts 5 p.m. on Friday. On Friday. And mm -hmm. it's actually the perfect overlap because if you think about it, it's extreme music and extreme sports yeah. all in mm -hmm. the same town. Mm -hmm. Last year, I think the headliner for the official music show for X Games was Suicidal Tendencies. Yes. And if you're not familiar with them, they are like old school punk rock, like mm -hmm. really heavy. I've heard um, of them. Their drummer actually last year was Grayson Nekrutman, who's like this incredible drummer who's actually playing for Sepultura right now, which is a huge metal band. Nice. Jeez. Um, this year, they're kind of changing it up to be a little bit more hip-hop and R&B, which is mm -hmm. like Wiz Khalifa as the headliner, Cascade. Mm -hmm. Awesome um, for X Games, but we want to bring the heavier side sure. to, right. to the event. Absolutely. So Absolutely. if I'm an artist, heavy metal artist, and I would like to participate in this next year, who do I contact to get you know involved? Wicked Wednesday. Wicked Wednesday. Yeah. Okay. All that's, right. <coughs> excuse me. Yes. That's what uh that's what I called it forever ago. Um, actually, short story. But the drummer for Bone Maggot said, "Don't make it evil. Make it wicked, so you could book different genres. So now we can do rock and roll all sure. the way up to metal if it was metal. Smart. Yeah, very smart. Yeah. So. Very smart. Yeah, we take it. Everyone gets a try on the stage, whether they played or not. I'll look at it and go. If, if they think they can handle it and they'll be opener and it just 
a continuous circle, and they always go off and do bigger things. Um, uh, what's the band that you were playing with when I had you? They're out in Sweden right now. Um, uh, uh, Are you talking about Black Moon Lilith? Not Black Moon no. Lilith. They'll be there soon. They're killer. But, um, uh, I forget their name, but they, they're they're often touring. They're kids. They're amazing. They're really? absolutely mm -hmm. amazing, yeah. That's awesome. Back to Chekhov's gun, by the way. If you okay. guys are not familiar with this, it is a literary device in books and novels and storytelling sure. where if you see a gun in the beginning of the story, it has to resurface by the end of the story or it was a bad <laughs> literary device that never should have been involved. And that is the theory of Chekhov's gun. <laughs> and I just love the band name because of that. That's right. Awesome. No, that's so cool. I think we should all just make up um, metal band yeah, we, later. We, we should I, do that later. We should. We should try to we see it, that, like yeah. how good we are with that. You got to think about it first, <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, you know, Hologram Empire. We did a uh, a sip to light it up with the band. So I'm really excited that they're on this bill. And they're going to be performing. Absolutely. Yeah, they, they go back to the beginning of we, actually back when we would do the music awards. They were into the music awards yeah. back way back then. Yeah. Um, I've had them over recently as just an acoustic act but they're they got their stuff back together so good. hopefully we'll get the full band in that's good on yeah. the weekend that's good. either way it'll go over well and you know what i think is really cool about the extreme music festival that you're putting on it's free right yep. free for anybody over 21 over 21 yes okay we, we miss having the the minors in because it really used to be a big part of sure. growing but mm -hmm. it's really a risk to bars and oh, yeah. they, you know I, what I, I mean? Know. Of course. Of course. Yeah, so Absolutely. It, it is what it is. So. You know, the sewer is a small venue too, so mm -hmm. we do anticipate that it's going to be full. There will probably be a line of people getting sure. ready to come in. So okay. as people leave, then more people will be allowed in. But it is a small venue, so if you plan to come, definitely come early. Is there a website where people can get more information about this? Uh, you could go just to Wicked Wednesday's Instagram. That's that's what that's where we book, and it's just the easiest Simple. way to Wicked do it. Wicked Wednesday Instagram, okay. And if our uh, if our listeners are listening, obviously right now, we also shouted them out on our social media page. Absolutely. So Absolutely. you can find thank them from there. So thank you guys so much for coming on. If you guys want to tell the listeners anything, you know, the last couple minutes that you're on air, please please go right ahead. I'll start that out. Um, whoever's listening, um, there are several several events on the 28th, starting out on the first day, and there's other metal shows, but they're not as close as we are to the events. Okay. So I just want to get it out there that we we may even start at four and not five to try to you know let the crowd build. But uh, I want everyone to get there early. I know it's a work day, but that's going to be the metal day. So okay. Yeah. All right. Right. Wicked Weekend Extreme Music Festival, June 28th, 29th, and 30th. Be there and get heavy. Man, I love, I love it. That. Golly, Brandy. That was amazing. We keeping that. That's going to be a drop for you guys. We got to yeah. send that to and you. And you know, um, Jay and I, our project isn't performing that weekend. We're not quite at the stage where we're ready, but we are too sick to pray. Okay. My mom loves the name. Just kidding. She yeah. doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> that is the reason that we name our stuff that way. If your mom hates it, it's a good it's name. A good, it's Actually, good. Actually, when we picked the name, we had like a list of names and we we're like, nope, nope, nope. Too sick to pray. I was like, my mom's going to hate it. That's perfect. That's Let's do one. it. Yeah. Shout, shout out to your mom. No. no, I'm just kidding. I love my mom. She's amazing. Um, and, you know, find Wicked Wednesday. I think it's underscore 805 on Instagram. Yes. For all your metal events in Ventura County. And then I'm Digi Drums on Instagram. Jay is Jay Rivera70. At, yeah. <laughs> He's at, yeah. At, at, at booking.com that <laughs> year. Well, you know, uh, we would love to attend the event. If we can get some backstage access to take, you know, video pictures, that would be amazing. And post, you know, just share everything with the community because what you're doing is great. Oh, for the heavy you, I'm really excited for the that. turnout. Absolutely, absolutely. All right. Well, it is goodbye, but not forever. We'll see you guys soon, and we'll take a quick break.